Okay, in this video, we're just looking at how to use offline maps in Google Maps. And the reason you might want to use this is if you're going somewhere you don't know and you know you go essentially sort of stray outside of a phone signal so it happens quite often if you go into places that are maybe a little bit more rural a bit remote you don't get such a good phone signal um, it's especially useful for people who don't have that good of phone coverage so like I've been with three for about 20 years and I don't know why I stay with them like the the actual network coverage is absolutely abysmal so Another benefit to using offline maps is that you're not actually using your mobile data to render all the maps as you go. So by saving them offline, you can just do all of that on the Wi-Fi. And then, you know, if you're on, say, a pay-as-you-go tariff or you're capped for a certain amount of mobile data, it, it can be quite good in that sense to uh, stop you going over limits. Like as an example, I'll kind of show you here. So I've turned off my Wi-Fi, I've turned off my mobile network. And this is kind of what you'll see. So, you know, say we're driving into London and we lose signal. A bit unlikely. It's more likely to happen on kind of country, you know, in villages and things like that. But you can sort of see it goes into this lo-fi version of there's not really, you know, there's no road names, <coughs> no um, names of things nearby, numbers. You're not getting anything really. So it can be incredibly difficult to use this to try and uh, try and get around. So, um it will still have your GPS location, so you'll still be moving around in here, but you can't really see anything. So that's where offline maps come in really useful. You can add in, um, you'll, you'll get the sort of, um, you know, all the detail on the map and you'll be able to get to where you need to go without probably having to stop and ask people and stuff. So what we'll do is we'll quickly switch on mobile network and Wi-Fi again. So the first thing you need to do, just jump into the sidebar here. So this is where you're signed in as yourself. And then we've got this whole menu here and the one we're after is this one here offline maps so we're just going to click into that and then it says to use maps offline start by downloading a map then you'll be able to search and get directions offline with that map so what you'll be able to do is click on select your own map and then you can see here it gives you the option to kind of capture an area so <laughs> you can capture a huge area you know like this so say if you're going to Scotland for example you could capture a huge area of that or more than likely you'll probably just be going you know let's say you're going out to somewhere like this the Yorkshire Dales for example um, and you just want to grab all the country roads and stuff within there you could kind of kind of do that you know what I tend to do is just cover the routes more or less that I'm gonna kind of uh, travel down and the, the reason that I like to do this is because if a main road gets closed off, Google Maps is really good for telling you that. It will tell you, you know, the main roads shut up like there's an accident on the motorway, go off down here. I mean, it will take you down some terrible country lanes, but it, quite often it saves you a lot of time. But that's when you're very likely to get this dropout and signal and not know anything like where you are or anything like that. And you can kind of see here, that's a 55 meg download there. If we pull right out of this and then leave it for a minute, you can see 155 meg. You can have probably most of the, it, that's, that is like as wide as you can go. So, I mean, it's pretty big. It covers all of, uh, all of Scotland and uh, a little bit of the, the top of uh, England there. So that's like the most you can get, 325 meg that is from, uh, from that bit so you can kind of see uh or 700 of that bit it depends how much detail and road you're kind of capturing but um yeah you can kind of see that you can you can capture like huge amounts and you can do more than one so if you want to stitch bits of the map together that's possible too so what we'll do is we'll just hit download on this um i'll grab that and then you can see here it's just downloading the map this should be pretty quick because my wi-fi is is fairly quick in here so we'll just let that download for a second you can see at the bottom of the screen we're 64 70 percent it's sort of it's, it's going through pretty rapid you can do this on uh on mobile data 
but I'd kind of advise do do this if you can try and plan in advance and do it on Wi-Fi because it's a lot quicker doing this on Wi-Fi generally than it is doing it off your phone data. It's not too bad over 4G, but um, yeah, if you can do it over Wi-Fi, it, it makes life a bit easier and then you're not having to worry about it just before you kind of leave and things like that. And you can see this map's nearly downloading. It gives us the quite unhelpful name of calling it map three. So what we can do is come in, rename it, uh, and I think it was Barnard Castle or something like that. So <laughs> we just put that in or it could be an area or whatever. And you can see underneath the name, it says expires 17th of July 2025. And that is basically exactly a year from now. So it's completely up to you how you want to manage your flying maps. You can uh, you can delete them from here the same way we just renamed it or you can just let them run to that time and they'll expire. Generally, what it will do is give you a little notification just to say you've got offline maps expiring and then it'll ask you if you want to keep them or delete them. So uh, they're, they're easy to recapture if you want to. It's just a case of making sure that you've got enough space on your phone. So, you know, if you need that space back, then just make sure to do a bit of housekeeping and kind of delete them when you don't need them. And one thing you can do now, if you just want to quickly check it's working, you can jump into here. You can switch off your um, switch off your Wi-Fi, switch off your mobile network. Um, we saved this bit that was Barnard Castle. Um, I couldn't tell you where that is on a map, so what we'll have to do is we'll search uh, and just to kind of show you that you know we've got nothing really in these places. You know, pretty sort of you know no detail there but then if we go to barnard castle where we saved our map you can see we can zoom right in and we've got all kinds of detail there we've got all the road names you know all, everything around it has been saved so you know no matter where we are if we've got no signal or you know we don't really have any kind of uh, any kind of connection you'll still be able to travel around like i say the gps will still work and it will take you down these bits and you'll be able to see road names and all that kind of useful stuff so yeah like i say if you want to cover more space you can kind of come down do another one and like i say you just do as many as you need to cover the area that you know you're going to be traveling through and it just gives you peace of mind that your your sat nav's not going to just completely drop out at like the worst time when you're in the middle of nowhere. You've got no one to ask directions. You potentially might need to charge your car or fill your car up with petrol, and it's just like <laughs> it just gives you good peace of mind to kind of know what the roads are called, where you are, and and what's going on. So, like I say, it's been a bit of a lifesaver for me a few times, and it seems like a lot of people don't really know that it actually exists as a feature. So, um, yeah, I definitely um definitely check it out if that's something you've kind of experienced in the past it's um yeah it can be really useful so hopefully you found this video useful if you have give the video a like if you want to see more videos like this then please subscribe